Looks like I need a hook. I've got some scrap of eighth inch material that I'm going to use for the mounting on the hook. And then I've got a piece of 5 8 round bars. So first thing I'm going to do is upset this just a little bit, and then I'm going to draw out the hook end on this and form that upset into a nice ball. That's going to need to be pretty smooth for this hook to work well. It doesn't want to be very rough, so I may have to do a whole lot of grinding or filing on that to get it just the way I want it. The ball that'll form the inside of the ball and socket is nice and roughed out, and it's really a very clean ball. If this was an ornamental piece, it could be done right now. But I'm still going to do a little bit of filing and grinding to it after we get the base plate done so we can make sure everything fits together. So doing the base plate is the next step. I'm going to go with something just a little bit floral looking for this hook.
This is going to be a little bit more than just a simple hook. So after filing the edges to clean it up some, I'm also going to file a bevel on the edge. That gives it just a little bit more class. I'm going to lay out a center vein in this cold, then I'll get it hot and use teardrop tools to give it a little bit more detail. Just a little more detail using a chisel that matches the curve of the teardrop tools. I think the ball is definitely going to have to be worked down some, though that's never going to lay flush. So I'm going to use this little veining tool, often referred to as a butt crack tool, for obvious reasons. And that's going to help me get some shape to this thing.
We're getting really close with this project. The truth is, this doesn't need to be a perfectly round ball. It only needs to be round on the part that contacts the socket on the inside. So I'm going to end up taking a lot of that off and making more of a disc or a lozenge shape out of that. And it's going to work better. But taking the time to start with a round ball is a good exercise, so no reason not to do it. And if you're doing some other project where you actually want the ball, you now see how that can be done. So I'm going to head back to the grinder and I'm going to take care of this, make it fit, probably downsize a little bit so it has a little bit more swing in here. That's not going to quite seek level on the ceiling where it's going to go, so I need to do a little work there and probably dry out this shank for the hook a little bit more. But first thing, grind it and make it fit this. Well, that's much better now. It swivels very nicely, and that should easily match the slope of the ceiling, which is all I need to do on this hook. And it'll be able to turn around circles, depending on which way the hook needs to face. I want it to be a lot thinner than this. This was just to reduce it so I could do the ball end. Now I can go ahead and worry about thinning this out. I'm going to make it about the same as what this neck is. Don't know what size that is. That just worked. So there was enough clearance in here. Oh, good, it fits.
We're going to drill and countersink for number eight flathead wood screw. I think that'll blend in with this and be nearly invisible as it's installed on the ceiling. After that, a quick wire brushing and just a light heat just to get some paste wax to melt into it, but not enough to make it change color in the fire. And we then have what I think will be a very functional ceiling hook that will pivot whatever direction we need it to, to hold that light fixture in just the right place. I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, I would love to hit that subscribe button down there. If you'd like to provide financial support for the videos here at Black Bear Forge, there are links in the video description for both PayPal and Patreon. The Patreon supporters get an ad-free version of the video every week as a thank you for their patronage. In the meantime, I hope you have time in your day to get out to your shop, make something, but stay safe, wear your safety glasses. I'm going to go install this, and I'll see you for the next video.